an unrelenting assault against people of faith. Anybody in here a person of faith? One of his biggest lines of the night tonight in Kentucky. Well, now President Trump's longtime personal pastor is taking a new role inside the Trump administration, advising the Faith and Opportunity Initiative, working to keep the president's strong evangelical base in 2020. But the announcement was not without controversy, as some question her theology. So joining me now to answer those critics, President Trump's newest White House advisor, Paula White Kane, also the author of the brand new book, something greater. Paula, great to have you with us tonight. It's great to be with you, Shannon, and with everyone. Okay, so listen, the president has talked a lot about religious freedom. He's taken a lot of steps that he said to that end. And of course, his critics say, especially with the move last week, dealing with LGBT issues and religious freedom and the intersection, they say that what he's doing is legalizing discrimination, but pinning it on religious liberty. How do you answer that? Well, our president continues to advance the faith agenda for all people of faith. I mean, he's done so many different things from when we look at alleviating poverty, six million people coming off welfare to strengthening families, when we see prison reform, uh, religious liberty, the State Department, Ministerial Alliance. He just is a freedom fighter for people of all faith. You see it over and over. I have personally seen it up and close for 18 years. So that's what the Faith Initiative and Opportunity agenda is about. It is really advancing because he recognizes faith makes a difference in people's life. He says it over and over. We worship God. We don't worship government. Well, uh, there are those who, including Joshua Harris, um, famous pastor who's now left Christianity and says it's not how he chooses to identify himself anymore, but he's got this warning. He says, evangelical support for President Trump, quote, incredibly damaging to the gospel. He says, I don't think it's going to end well. How do you respond? Uh, you know, people are going to say some pretty ridiculous things all the time. I think this is ending uh, very, very well as we see that evangelical support um, President Trump at an all-time historical high. The base is stronger than ever. 99% the latest PRR say the impeachment is absolutely ridiculous. They are against it. And so we continue to see the policy that our president makes as he works tirelessly on behalf of all Americans, of all people. He's done unprecedented things from opening up houses of worship to be able to partake in FEMA, disaster relief, to be able to do so many things within the faith community. Um, he continues to make a huge difference. Now, you, like the president, you all have bonded, as you've talked about over the years, and there's some really interesting tidbits in your book as well. But both of you are used to coming under criticism. So I want to read a little bit for you, which is obviously being revved up now that you're in this new position as well. Um, uh, Jeremy Peters, writing this in the New York Times, says, Among Christians, Ms. White is a divisive figure. Her association with the belief that God wants followers to find wealth and health, commonly called prosperity gospel, is highly unorthodox in the faith and considered heretical by many. I mean, you've been a faith leader for a long time. What do you make of that critique of you? I've been in ministry for 35 years, and I've heard just about everything said. First off, I do not believe that uh, in this, what you would say, like, uh, you give to get, and that is what they try to label it as prosperity. I believe that God sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. I've had to defend the Trinity of all things, that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I think most of this is a political ploy just to hurt our president, to hurt the great faith agenda that he continues to advance. Um, anyone that's ever listened to my message knows very well that I believe in very solid biblical beliefs. So it, this is not anything new. Well, you all now continue your partnership. It goes into a new phase, and we will watch uh, with the faith efforts. We know they're going to be key moving into 2020 as well. Paula White-Kane, thank you. Thank you so much, Shannon.